Everyone, my name is Nick Canzanari, and I'll be talking about command line first data analysis. Uh, so quick note, I'll be using shell, bash, command line kind of interchangeably, but what I mean are the GNU core utilities that you'll find on any Linux box. So on the core utilities, I'm not advocating to replace everything with bash, that'd be crazy, but I wanted to give you a few tips and tricks that maybe can get you that 80% of what you need really, really quickly, you know, without having to rely on external tools. So first thing is when to use the shell and the bash. The first thing is that your data is line-based. All the core utilities work really well with the lines. If you have multi-line data, like exceptions or stack traces, then maybe like the, the shell is not gonna be a good idea for you. The next criteria is that it works really well when your data has like a semi-structure. If you have a hard structure, like a JSON, then that's pretty easy to program against. But we, when you have these Nginx logs, like that'd be a nightmare to program against, but the uh, core utils can chop it up pretty easily. First step in any type of data analysis is peek at your data, see what you're working with. So here we can see we have a, a three column population CSV file, city, state, population, uh, 761 lines in total. What tools are we using to work with that? So head, we'll peek at the top of your file. Tail, we'll look at the bottom of the file. WC stands for word count, but here we're using the dash L flag, so we're gonna be, gonna be counting lines. So we have uh, 761 cities in the CSV. The next step is getting the lines that you want or that you don't want. Grep will be your workhorse for that. You can pass it a string or a regular expression uh, in order to get those lines that you really, really want, or use the dash V flag to exclude those lines. Say, I don't want those. Now that you have the lines that you want, you want the fields that you, can, that you want. So cut is gonna be your tool for that. So in this example, I'm getting the first and the third field, so just uh, city and population. Don't be afraid to do multiple passes with cut. Uh, it works really well with that. So in this Nginx log example, if I want that time portion of it, you can do multiple passes with cut using different uh, delimiters in order to get the fields that you're looking for. Organizing your data, sort by default, will work on the entire line alphabetically, but you can use the, the dash K flag there to, in order to sort on a column within your data. So here, I'm gonna be sorting by state alphabetically. Cool. But you, it gets even cooler because you can use multiple key <laughs> flags. So here in this example, I'm first sorting by state alphabetically, the second column, and then I'm sorting by the third column, population numerically reverse, so that way. Uh, so next step is how, how, how to group your data. Uh, so if I wanted to answer the question, how many cities per state that there are, I can use unique. Unique requires sorted input, that is important to note. Working with multiple files, you're gonna have to do that eventually. So in this example, I have a, a FIPS code column that is common with census data. So I have two files, I have a FIPS code. How can I work those two together? Surely I'll need to import to MySQL or something, some type of database in order to work with those files. No, I can use the join command. It works pretty much exactly how you would expect a SQL join to work like. Uh, by default, it'll work off of the first column, but you know there are options to do more stuff. There are other ways that you're gonna work with multiple files. So if I don't have a key column to join on, I can use paste. Paste will basically zip two files together. It's kind of a unique use case. You can use the S flag to transpose the rows and columns, so you can sort of zip it horizontally together. Uh, comparing multiple files, com produces three columns of output. First column is lines that are only in the first file. Second column are lines that are only in the second file. Third column are lines that are in both files. Uh, dealing with special characters, any type of data analysis, you're gonna have to do with that. Expand, unexpand, will convert between tabs and spaces. TR stands for translate. It converts between different character classes. You can read the man page to find all of them out, uh, but they're really cool. Uh, search and replace, kind of data cleanup. You're gonna always gonna have to do that. The top example here is exactly what I downloaded from the census, but I wanted separate columns for city and state. So you can use said to search and replace and get kind of clean up the, your data on how you want it. When you need Turing completeness, awk can be your big hammer in order to do that. If you're using awk, you might want to write a program, but you can use awk here. Uh, awk, so in this example, I added a fourth column that is the population percentage based off of the top result. I'll end with uh, the man pages are useful. Winner's coming up, you can make yourself some cocoa, read the man pages, uh, you know, read all those little options and flags about a command that you thought you knew. Thank you.